I guess today what I'm going to do, like I say, is I'm going to leave this side as it is and I'm going to redesign or rebuild this section over here. Um, I'm going to keep this frame for now, but I'm going to rebuild like what's going to be the bottom section in hopefully a way which is going to improve the mechanical durability of it. See, this is just this super flexible. I'm going to put a frame around something like this and make it so it's not flexible. So each time I pl pull it, it's not like, oh, I don't know what's going to happen. It's completely weird. I'm going to make it so this doesn't go down to a certain point and then stop. Well, I want to make the, it coming down to a certain point and stopping more predictable than it is right now. So I've got to be super careful here because the magnets are just separated by this cardboard layer and if these come apart all the magnets go and stick together. So this is magnetic at this end here and it's magnetic all in this section at the end. There's a big square section that's magnetic past this line here. No magnets at all. So um, priority number two, reducing bulk, and, or is it priority number three, sorry, reducing bulk and weight. We actually realize none of that is needed at all. We don't need here because the, the throw target is just there. None of that's needed. So in the final version, I can reduce this down to just where the magnets are, square panel where the magnets are that are going to catch the balls like this. And here doesn't need to be there at all. Anywhere that that sticks, this will just pivot and it'll pull it away. So instead of it flexing, now it's going to pivot and pull it away. And the further out this goes, let me think here, the further out this goes here, the less it has to pivot down. So if it pivots there, to pull this away there, it has to, it'll have to pivot like all the way around to get enough gap to pull this off. But if it pivots from far down here, so if I put like the pivot a long way down, it'll only have to pivot, yeah, a little bit. So really what I want to do is make it so it only has to, like only has to move like, move at the end five centimeters, which means that all of the pulling motion is just five centimeters. Thinking about this more, I think I'm gonna try the hinge for the first point at 26, which means that if I have two poles coming up from either side of my case, like fixed onto the side of my case, they can be set out for like two centimeters. And so this can be exactly the same width as the case. Um, no, but then it has to, if it has to fit inside the case. Ah, let me go back to the case again. Okay, so I've measured the case, and if I do want it to fit into my case in one section, this needs to be smaller, actually a little bit smaller than I think, or than I thought. So, this is our first proto working prototype from today. So, it sticks, and then pulls down and falls off. Pulled down quite a long way, but that's going to be fine. Sticks. Boing. Sticks. And then. Boing. Sticks. And then boing. Sticks. And then. Boing. 